Hello, uh, welcome to this quick tutorial on um, making make human animations or models, FBX models work in Unity with uh, Mixamo animations. Okay, so um, if you've been having some problems um, or you've been trying to rig a make human model within um, Mixamo and it's still not working, um, we've got a workaround for that where you don't even have to put the make human model into um, Mixamo at all, okay? So what we're gonna start with, let's, let's put both of our models in. So I've got a make human model, so let's stick this dude in here and put him into our hierarchy first and then we'll just focus on him. And then what we'll do is also put in our um, Y-bot walking and what we'll do is we'll link these two together and I'm just going to make sure that they're lined up together. Cool, lovely, and then pull that one out. And pull, there we go. Cool, lovely, let's just rotate that a little bit. Fantastic, cool. Then what we're going to do is make sure uh, our camera view, because our camera view is a bit far away, so we're just going to click on our main camera, game object, align with view. There we go, we can see our camera view now if we click on our game tab. We can see that's all linked up nicely. Okay, so now we've got set up, we want the, both of these models, these FBX models, to have the same animations using the same animations controller as well, okay? So um, what we'll do is we'll go through the basics first with the Y-Bot. Um, I think the majority of people have probably used more Mixamo models than Make Human, so we'll go through that process first. So what we'll do is, first things first, let's create a animator controller. And I'm just gonna call this controller because this is gonna be the controller for both of my, um, and both of my models, okay? So first things first, we're gonna click onto our Y-Bot and we can do a really nice, easy shortcut here. If we click and drag onto our animator controller that we've just created and drag this straight onto um, our Y-Bot walking, as I've got here, it will automatically add an animator. So if I click and drag and we get this arrow, as you can see there, if I click and let go, there we go, we've got your animator and it's already added our controller. And we can see under this that um, the avatar is currently at none. So we don't have an avatar, which is a bit of a problem, but we can um, we can, we can sort this out. So, um, as we know, if we click on the Ybot model itself under in the project tab here, we can see under rig, obviously you might be already set to animation. If we set this to rig, we can see that the animation type is generic, okay? Um, so also another thing, um, we can see that at the, at the moment we can only see loop time, but we'll, can, we can change this once we've changed the uh, animation over. So if we go to rig, and we're going to change this to humanoid because obviously he's a human and we're going to create the avatar from this model okay so what the avatar is essentially doing is adding bones to this model okay the avatar for our uh, make human model will be completely different because the bones for this guy are different for this guy okay so all the bones will be different and every animation or every fbx model that goes into unity needs its own unique avatar Okay, so um, standard for bones, we're gonna click apply. Lovely, so this has changed this over to humanoid. Fantastic, really, really happy with that. Cool, lovely. So next thing we can do is um, we can grab our animation and we can drag our animation in. Lovely, jubbly. Cool. And uh, what you can also see is once we've transferred our animation over to humanoid, as you can see, here, now in our animation, we can also see that we can control the root transform rotation as well, because I know people were having some issues with that, so we can fix that as well. So the uh, animation isn't controlling the movement of our character, it's in fact the code when we input that. Cool, lovely. So um, once we've done that, um, this should be all good to go. So if we press play, 
see nothing happens okay so uh, and this is correct this is correct this is right so what we can do is quickly go over to the animation so this is where you're trying to sort of starting to troubleshoot your issues so if we click on this animation we can see that we can click edit and we can indeed click loop time to see if that fixes the issue let's scroll down click apply see if that fixes anything so we can go back we can press play again this time so we still have nothing playing. Okay, so we're still having um, some issues and it's because we haven't added the avatar. So make sure we add the avatar. So if we add our Wibot avatar, there we go. Now this should be rigged to our animation because it's in here. So if we zoom into our animation, there it is. Doo -doo -doo. Lovely, so let's press play and hopefully he'll be walking, but there we go, he's sinking. So this is the issue that people are coming across straight away with Mixamo. What is happening here? We've got, we've done everything right, and you have. You haven't done anything wrong at this point. Simply because you've created, uh, if we come out of play, we can see that you've created the controller, you've added the animation, it's the default animation. We have an avatar that's bo um, putting bones into our model. And even when we press play, we can see that the animator is doing doing its job. We can see that the animation is looping. So why is this not working? Well, um, this is a weird Mixamo thing, and this is essentially the fix that we need to do. So if we click onto our uh, animation widebot here and click the arrow, we can see the animation itself. And initially, when we click onto it, it's all grayed out. And even if we click onto the animation itself here, we can see all these different keyframes, but again, we can't edit these. It's all frozen. And this is the problem. The animations are totally locked and it's totally fro frozen. So even though that you're editing the rig itself, and even if we click on the animation itself and click edit, it will tell us that it's humanoid. So you think, okay, there's no problems here, but it's still locked because look, we can't edit any of this here. We can't change any of these numbers or change any of these keyframes. So um, the easy way to do this is by clicking the animation. And what we're gonna do is duplicate it. So if you're on a Windows, it'll be Control D, or if you're on a Mac, it'll be Command D. So what I'm gonna do is press Command D and I get this new animation. And all as you can see, as I've done that, all of these animations have then suddenly lit up of that I now can edit them a weird locked Mixamo animation thing. So if we go back into our animator, what I'm gonna do is delete this animation, this new duplicated animation that's now out of this package. If I drag this in, because it's called walking, not walking to anymore. If I press play, we then have the animation working. Absolutely fantastic. This is exactly what we want. So now we've got that main fix over and done with. Let's have a look at our a make human model, okay? So remember, we don't have to put him through Mixamo to rig him or anything like that. What we're gonna do is click on him. We need to change his animation to type to humanoid, and we need to create his avatar definition for him. Okay, so this a lot of people might be thinking, oh, well, we need the Y bot. No, we do not need the Y bot for make human. He needs his own bones with inside him essentially. So we're gonna create an avatar from this model. So the model himself, click apply. There we go. So let's click on our make human. Um, as we can see, he has an animator. He's got um, also his um, avatars on him already, which is absolutely fantastic. So what we're gonna do is we're now gonna add the controller that we created right at the start onto um, his animator, so they can share the same controller, but they can't share the same avatar. Okay, so make sure you write that down, I'll note that down. So if, as soon as I put this controller in here, um, with this, um, essentially the controller's got the unlocked animation because we've duplicated it. As Soon as we press play, there we go. Both animations are working. Cool, um, I hope you like this little mini tutorial and it's fixed um, some Mixamo and make human problems for you. Uh, and I'll see you very, very soon.